The Primary Circuit On our schematic diagram of the truck-slash-tractor air brake system, the primary or rear axle service brake circuit is colored green. The circuit begins at the primary service reservoir or tank. From the service reservoir, a line moves air to the treadle valve's primary supply port. Notice on the treadle valve, the primary section is always closest to the mechanical actuator. On the treadle valve, the primary circuit supplies the secondary portion of the valve with air as well. Note. In emergency situations, the treadle valve can supply air to the SR-1 spring brake relay, sometimes called an inversion valve, which in turn releases air from the parking brake. Just before the air line reaches the treadle valve, it branches off, feeding air to the spring brake relay valve. This valve checks if there's enough air in the primary circuit. If air pressure in the primary circuit is low, when the operator steps on the brake pedal, it will mechanically act on the treadle valve's secondary circuit portion to send a signal to the spring brake relay valve, exhausting a modulated amount of air out of the parking brake circuit. Venting air from the spring brake chambers causes the energy stored in the parking brake springs to apply the brakes to the vehicle. The harder the operator steps on the brake pedal, the more air is released from the spring brake chambers and the harder the spring brakes are applied. In event of an emergency, the system usually has enough stored energy to make several stops before the springs cause the brakes to lock on. Now let's take a look at what happens in the primary circuit when the brakes are applied. The operator steps on the treadle valve opening the primary relay valve allowing air to be released down two lines. One line sends air to the double check valve and stop signal light. The air to the stop signal light causes the stop light to come on. Air is then routed to the tractor protection valve service port and on through the blue trailer service brake line when the red trailer supply brake button is pushed in. The other line directs air to the bobtail proportion relay valve control port. This valve interprets the air pressure from the treadle valve to modulate the airflow coming from the primary circuit reservoir to the rear axle service brakes. The harder the operator steps on the treadle valve, the harder the brakes are applied. <laughs> this concludes our lesson on the primary circuit. Please select another lesson from the menu bar or click on the repeat button to see the lesson again.